Um, Joe, first things first, that's a heck of a passing attack Western has. What are you guys going to have to do to be successful? Uh, just get to the quarterback. We know they have a good uh, receiving core. So just getting hits on the quarterback be big. Uh, we know it's pretty good. So that will be the main focus going into the game. I know the defense talks a lot about uh, looking to uh, make the opposing offense one-dimensional. Uh, Western's been pretty one-dimensional all year, yet they have a fantastic passing attack. Uh, what is it that you've seen about that, uh, that they can still find success in the passing game despite their one-dimensionality? Uh, the, receive, the receivers continue to get open for what I've seen on film. Uh, you know, you got to get pressure. They all had, have different blocking schemes, so that's stopping a lot of pressure from, you know, coming from different angles and stuff. So we're just going to have get to uh, get to the quarterback and just, you know, do what we can. Javante, um, after the kind of a shootout, <clears throat> high-scoring shootout game that you guys had last year, what can you take from that game against them last year to learn from and apply it going into this year's game? Uh, personally, I feel like just staying poised. Uh, you know, going into uh, – last year was my first game, you know, playing against them. So, uh, you know, it's, it's really hyped up. So, you know, just staying poised. And, you know, um, I mean, mentally just, you know, just being ready from an all-around standpoint. This year, guys, the second Friday night game of the season. What do you guys as players take from the, the last time you had a Friday night game into, into this one, into, like, the, the pregame going into pre preparation and everything like that? Yeah, the preparation is uh, definitely different. You know, you have shorter week, uh, you know, getting ready for the game. So I, I just feel like just being focused, really, you know, focus and uh, just staying mentally ready. Having this win streak and having your quarterback back, does, does it feel <clears throat> different right now than it maybe did two weeks ago? Yeah, having Brent out there is a big difference. I feel um, we are, we're a lot confident team when he's when he's playing. So uh, we we believe in him, and we just hope that he continues to keep doing what he's doing. Does it affect the defense in a way? Yeah, it, it helps a lot. We think you know when he's out there, we believe he's going to score every time. We have no doubts in him. So that's that. I asked Coach Stock about his new look. What do you think about it? What do the players think about it? Yeah, we like it a lot. We 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 like it. We enjoy it. What do you like about it? Just a different style. You know, he switched it up on us, and and it's a new start, new look. Do you believe in superstitions? Yeah, I do actually. A do lot. you have any yourself? Yeah, I wear um, <laughs> I wear my socks on different feet, you know, left and right, right, left. So I just switched that up. How long have you been doing that? Since high school, game day. So awesome. Javante, can you uh, comment about you and the players? You guys are out on campus all week, and when it's Western Week and almost any sport, it kind of adds a little juice to it. What What's the What do you when you uh, hear from other students do you feel a little more attention this week because hey it's western week yeah you definitely uh they're definitely aware and I, they always do like a blood drive week uh so you know that always brings a lot of attention to it but yeah um, the students are definitely aware and uh are going to be you know locked in for the game so 